What's going on YouTube? I'm here, boy, Bleeding Hoof, and I got a top eight. Top eight games I can't wait to play in 2014. And guess what? They are all free to play. And hopefully, if it's a list that you enjoy and want to play too, leave a comment. And uh, let me know what you think. Let's go into a number eight. Hearthstone by Blizzard Entertainment. It's simple, but not an easy, you know, not easy to master game. Uh, I had the beta for this since, like, November. And didn't realize it until, like, January that I still had it. So I started playing a little bit more. And I, and I can't wait for the final release. It's now an open beta. And I can't wait for the final release. So let's just go ahead and go uh, hit up number seven. Number seven is Black Gold. It is an RPG with uh, not uh, it's an MMO RPG, and uh, it looks pretty good so far. I don't really know too much about the whole PVE side, but I do know that the PVP side will be ridiculous. You got mounts that are upgradable. You got two factions against each other each with three different races, each with three different classes, and some people are right now are calling an avatar online because it's like mechs versus animals. So it looks pretty good. That's Black Gold. Number six is Blizzard's Dota or Heroes of the Storm. It's a, it's a MOBA. Everybody knows 2013 was MOBA crazy. League of Legends has started a movement somehow. I never really got into League of Legends, but I would like to try this because it has like two tier two tier level fighting and some of the boards have hazards and all that kind of stuff. But who wouldn't want to play with the Lich King? I mean, come on. The Lich King is in this motherfucker. So yeah, Heroes of the Storm. Number five. Number five is Nazgoth. This is gonna be probably the most fun PvP I will probably have. I don't know which side I'm going to pick just yet, but I know humans versus vampires, I'm all for it, man. Listen, if you got doing stuff like that and then Forge, how you know, you're just running up mountains and all this kind of stuff, I think this game is going to be great. And it's set in the Legacy of Kane universe. Um, Nazgoth just looks to be crazy fun. I mean, challenging and everything I mean I don't know it just it just looks great it really does and uh, that's by Cyanix and Square Enix actually so it looks like it's gonna be great number four we got uh, Aura Kingdoms Aura Kingdoms it is mostly it is your, your you know your happy your happy anime MMO that so many people kind of despise but what what made me can't wait for this was that it has companions and the companions are actually leveled and they can help you out and all that kind of stuff that's really all I know about Aura Kings right now so let's get another up number three Smite boy oh boy another MOBA but this one is 3D very action paced you got you know it's more skill based with the attacks and all that kind of stuff. It's a little faster to me than, you know, League of Legends or any of the other ones that are out there right now. And it, and it was just more fun for me. I mean, even though I got my butt kicked a lot of times, I can't wait for it to come out. I mean, the final release is in March. So hopefully, you know, by then, they'll probably up to maybe 50 gods. I know they're up to like 48, I think. 48 gods and 68 game modes. So... Smite is, is is looking like a contender for uh, League of Legends right now for me. I, 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 that's just what I think. So, number two. The most mysterious game on Earth. Blade and Soul. I mean, come on now. I heard about this game, what, like five years ago? And was checking everywhere to try to see if it was out anywhere or if I could download it. But no. Blade of Soul was a mystery. Blade of Soul will probably be a mystery in 2014. I know they are working on the Western localization, but this game is going to take forever 
because it's taking forever now and I want this game right now I mean look at this what game do you know says oh we got fighting game mechanics but you know you can't play it yet that's Blade and Soul and number one I had to put this at number one Edge of Reality's loadout this will actually be out in I think the 31st of this month January so I mean look you got a third person shooter like almost like Team Fortress and it just looks like crazy crazy fun you know customizable characters customizable guns all that good stuff so if you enjoyed the list please let me know put a comment down at the bottom like subscribe hit up YouTube hit up Facebook hit up Twitter page it's all on there thanks for joining me this your boy bleeding hoof and I think I am done for the day peace